In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an agenda slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this uh, slide where I've added the agenda at the top. You can add some detailed text and I've added one target board. When I click, uh, arrow comes and hits in the center. And when I click, it will show you the first option, the second, third and the fourth. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or P patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle rounded corners draw a rectangle rounded corner okay depending on the requirement and then you can see the small orange point just drag this inside all right and again if you want to make it more bigger you can make it all right and then i'm going to insert one more shape at the rectangle shape the rectangle shape i'm just going to add at the the bottom left side okay something like this so it looks something like this all right then i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape and make it a union so we end up getting a shape which looks something like this then color you can just choose and click any light gray color here okay again depending on the requirement if you want to increase the size or decrease the size you can do that one and once this is done i'm just going to add one target uh, here for that let me just go to a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose a circle hollow draw a small circle hollow by holding the shift key okay so let me just go and make it view guides all right and then go to the shape format align center align middle then press ctrl d to duplicate again align center align middle hold the ctrl shift key together and just increase the size okay and give some different color combination maybe i'm going to give red and send this to back all right then I'm going to add one more by pressing Ctrl D again align center align middle and hold the Ctrl shift key increase the size give it some light color and send this to back okay again press Ctrl D sorry Ctrl D again align center align middle hold the Ctrl shift key again okay and give a different color maybe red color and send this to back all right so now this particular shapes i'm going to select all go to the shape format shape outline make it no outline so you can see here this color also i'm going to make it white all right so now select all these shapes press ctrl g to group it go to the effects under 3d rotation go to the presets i'm going to select this one which is the perspective contrasting left all right now you can just play with this small the y rotation okay and go to the 3d format from the depth increase the depth so you can see here you can just increase the depth maybe this much so copy ctrl c come here ctrl v again if you want to reduce the size hold the shift key reduce the size and put it here something like this again if you want to rotate it further go back to the 3d format and you can just rotate it you can see here again if you want left right center y rotation x rotation all those things you can do it with the help of this one all right and then i'm going to add one arrow so go to insert shape select the rectangle draw a small rectangle you can see here shape outline no outline shape fill you can use some dark color or maybe i can just use some black color if you want rotate it and put it exactly in the center so let me just zoom in you can see here i'm just going to put it like this all right just touch it a little bit align it okay once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the isolated triangle draw a triangle again give the same color shape outline make it no outline then rotate it and put it here okay 
you can see here rotate it further that's it so you can see here we have added the arrow here now it's time to add some title so go to insert text box you can just type agenda if you want in capital letters you can use capital any font of your choice you can use it let me just increase the size you can see here all right let me just put it here agenda then go to insert text box you can add sub topic here sorry let me just undo this one sub topic here again i'm just going to make it open sans instead of extra bold i'm going to make it a semi bold all right again right mouse click there's some spelling mistake i believe anyway subtopic is one word so increase the size so, and put it here and then you can insert one rounded rectangle here like this same color you can give black no outline okay then i'm going to insert one here option one center align make it white make it bold increase the size and put it here and make sure to group this one Control g to group it then go to insert text box you can add detail option here again i'm going to choose the open sans or any font of your choice and color maybe i'm going to give it a kind of a red color then i'm going to select both of this hold the control shift key just drag this one again depending on the requirement you can add one two three four or five so this is one two this is three agenda this is the fourth agenda so let me just select this one and i will move it up here and if you want to just add some kind of more uh, background effect you can go to insert shapes you can select the oval shape draw the oval shape like this you can see here right mouse click edit point and you can just edit like this you can see here you can just edit like this Control d one more make it here so now i'm going to select this one this and this go to the merge shape and make it fragment and i'm just going to delete the unwanted i don't need this much so now this one i can give any light color combination and this one will be some dark color combination all right and make sure that this is no outline all right so we end up getting a shape which looks like this and if you want to do some basic animation effect you can add the animation effect to it